Paparazzi can be super creepy. I saw this Twitter, it's not exactly a rant, but it's just kind of a, a thread, a series of tweets from Natalie Morales. She's an actress, you kind of know her as a character actress. She's always great in shows uh, like Trophy Wife, she was in The Grinder. those got canceled early. But she's also been in like Girls and Parks and Recreation. Um, and she's in the upcoming movie Battle of the Sexes starring Steve Carell and Emma Stone. And she, a lot of people are saying this is her big breakout performance. Well, she was on the red carpet at the premiere. And here's what she said happened after all that. She said, so someone sent me photos of me having what they called a wardrobe malfunction at last weekend's premiere of Battle of the Sexes, which was one of the happiest moments of my life thus far. These are pictures they purposely took up my skirt to get a shot of my vag. These are photogs who go to red carpets to take pictures of women to what, embarrass them? Because they have bodies under their clothes. So you're gonna come to an event that I've waited my whole life for, that I'm super proud of and try to exploit my body for your gain. Not that it would be okay at any time, but you know, this specifically is a red carpet, so I'm there for you. There's a silent contract, I'm there to promote my movie. You're there to take pics you can sell. Pics I'm posing for that I've agreed to, pictures of my face and body covered in whatever way I see fit. I didn't pose for you to angle your camera up my skirt. And yeah, it's a high ass slit because I like the way my leg looked and I wanted to get me some of that Angie look. <laughs> Um, she's amazing, but I wasn't showing you my bits. And also jokes on you, I was wearing skin colored underwear so you can't actually see my bits. But if you could, I wouldn't be embarrassed, but you should be. What a disgusting, horrifying job you have, drop the mic. Boom. This is a uh, horrible human. Horrible, right? Yeah. Uh, Paparazzi are the weirdest people because you have some pops that are pretty cool. Yeah, the, that are just like, hey, I just want to get a picture. I'm here to do a job. If you want to do it, cool. But then you have the creeps like this who go to red carpet events to get vag shots. You know, they are everyone. I feel like these paparazzis are, are looking for that Britney Spears vag shot where she's yes. getting out of the car, and that's not going to happen in 2017, people. It's not going to happen. Yeah, people got the memo a while ago. They're it's, supposed to cover their bits. For, and she did. She's like, ha, psych. Joke is on you, I'm wearing, I was wearing skin color underwear. But it sucks that this was a great moment for her. Yes. She's on the show, she's successful, love Natalie Morales. And she's not the Natalie Morales who thought was on Today Show. Right, no. But this is a different one, because I was like, Natalie Morales has got a bad shot. No. no. But <laughs> um, it sucks that she has, this is kind of like, you know, tarnish that just a little bit because you want she wants to celebrate this moment. I'm on the red carpet for this great show, and then boom, you have these douchebags trying to do this. So, and what, if the show, I wonder how much money they would get for that kind of picture though, because she's a star, know. but she's not an A-lister. She's not anyone that's like, you know, um, at the top of the list for the paparazzi at the moment. Right, exactly. And she's like up and coming and and all she's always so great. That's the thing. Is like you, you've seen her in shows and you've been like, I like her. And whether you can put your finger on why or not, like she's just really great. And Reading this, if you see her in shows, you can see exactly like how she would deliver this in person. But what does she do? Like, ideally, you want this person who took these photos not to come back. Do you? I my temptation for me just put their name out. Here's the person who sent me all this stuff. I'm putting my name, his name out there or her name out there, and this person's never gonna be invited back. Is that good? Yeah, that's good because okay, good. I, I always feel like I'm being too vindictive when I have those kinds of things. Well, I no. Always, like send that I would fire off that tweet and then feel bad about it after. But I don't think you're being big. I can see. I see where I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Brett. Okay, but you. I think that this person had a lack of respect for you, right? right? They 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 took it upon themselves to try to humiliate you and take this picture. So why not call them out? I, I fight fire with fire. I know some yes. people they say two wrongs will make a right. I sometimes disagree with that. It just feels so good. Yeah, it, it's very satisfying. And it's like <sighs> toma. But if someone's going to come for you, I feel like it's your moral obligation to come for them. Yeah. So and especially if, especially in something so egregious and just smutty in this situation, there's times where you want to take the moral high road. You want to be like, you know what? Let me just be the bigger person. But if you're if you're clearly coming to my event or something that I'm being honored at to take pictures of my body without my consent, because mm -hmm. it's a consensual thing, and then be like, ha ha, I have these pictures, ha ha, I have pictures of your vag or your penis or whatever. No. You need to be dealt with right. accordingly. I like the idea of there's some people out there who have just done like the nude scene, like right. Jason Siegel mm -hmm. and forgetting Sarah Marshall. Once it's out there, I feel I and like Chelsea Handler, yeah. who just throw it out there and are like, Boobies I've been everywhere. naked. What are you gonna do? What, like now, what are you gonna hold over my head? Um, I think that takes the power back. But I also get people who don't want 
who never want to do the nude scene. And then you get like, it, it's just so terrible when someone does stuff like this to you. Um, I hate red carpets though. I, I don't mind them. I, well, I, I've only, I only walk certain red carpets for certain things I'm involved with. In. Walking red carpets, being, so I, the first red carpet I ever was on was the ESPYs. And no one was like, Brett, I need to take photos of you or anything. It was literally me just walking down it at the end when everyone was done. But I was like there on like a press pass or something. And so I got to go down the red carpet. And I felt like I, like the trap worked. The idea of like this big fake thing where it's like no one buys red carpet anywhere, but especially, but just like movie theaters and red carpets. And I did feel like how cool it would be, you know, and then you picture yourself with people taking photos of you. But I feel like that, this is so special for her because it's her first real red carpet right, experience exactly. before she's jaded by shit like this that makes everyone, when, when I, because I've worked those red carpets as a, as Talent. an interviewer, yeah. and and I always feel bad because I know I'm one of 50 people who's asking the same damn question. Or if I come up with like that cool thing to ask them, I'm like another asshole who just is like, here's my clever segment before you go to their clever segment that they come up with. Well, stars know. I mean, they're they're prepared for you when you when they come on the red carpet. Of course, there's a publicist that'll say, "Hey, this is Brett Ehrlich. He does. He's on Disney's Five Kids and Two Twins. You know, like they tell I, you yeah. what's up." I did the yeah. I did the. I was worked for Paramount on some of those red carpets at the Star Trek premiere and the Interstellar premiere, and they give you here's everyone who's affiliated with the thing and a picture of them and two facts about them, and then you just have to ask them about it. That's good yeah, because that's I've done some red carpets that were not that organized. Where the person was so the most awkward moment on a red carpet was with Morgan Freeman for National Geographic. Oh, tell me. And so Morgan comes up, you know, Morgan Morgan narrates a lot of stuff for Nat Geo, yeah. and he has his business partner. Well, I I wasn't aware that that was his business partner. No one had briefed me. They said Morgan Freeman's going to be here, so. I'm asking him questions and you have, and you can tell when you're interviewing someone and there's two people, there's this energy of someone wanting to piggyback and be like, and in addition to yeah. what Morgan said. Mm -hmm. So, and as as the host or the interviewer, you're supposed to be like, yes, Brett. So you and Morgan also, I had no clue who this woman was. <laughs> so I said, thank you, Morgan. And the woman looked at me like, <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. You know, that was a super awkward moment. And that's uh -huh. because the publicist didn't know that she was gonna be there. Red right. carpets for me though, you had stated that you you don't you hate asking that clever question. Yeah. But stars know you're gonna ask the clever question. Also, the, a good star or a good actor, or actress no, wants to talk about their project. They want you to engage them and be like, mm -hmm. so this movie, you're playing um Einstein's first wife how did you prepare for that role what what was what how did you get into that character because she's such a fascinating individual right, they want just, that yeah. they I want guess that. I'm getting too into my head about it like it's like uh if I don't want to make I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable and I don't want them to like say for the 50th time and look at me I've had some really bad experiences well with. imagine walking your red carpet in your underwear that's that's oh yeah you done that. <laughs> that that to me and so you know I'm on RuPaul's Drag Race, and my job is to stand around my underwear. Yeah. And believe it or not, sometimes it's really uncomfortable. Sometimes I get I believe like it 100%. Yeah, that's like, like a nightmare people have. Yeah, but you get used to it. And then you have people who want to touch you, who ask you Ugh. what's in the pants, you know, stuff like that. So red carpets can be fun, or a they penis. can they can scar you for life. Yeah. All right. But I like that Natalie Morales stepped up and yep and lashed back. She's amazing. Go watch everything she's in. She's always fantastic. Um, and shout out to her for being awesome.